serious, guys. In just a few seconds, your power will go. Uh-oh. If the power goes, all systems will shut down. And you'll sink like a stone. That doesn't sound good. I'll check the reserve power. Uh-oh. It's falling fast. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. We gotta get that GPS working so they can find us. And now! I'm on it! Maybe I can retro-engineer something. Yeah, with what? There's nothing but water around here. I don't know. If I reload the transmorgifying circuit and attach it to the P24 modulator through the electrostatic bypass, it might... Oh. What? <laughs> it just needs to be plugged in. Hmm. Goblin sharks. Plug it in! Quick! While you still have the power! Here goes! <laughs> yes! No! We didn't make it in time! We're doomed! Oh, this is horrible! They're falling into the abyssal zone! The deepest, darkest part of the ocean! 4,000 to 6,000 meters! Over 40 skyscrapers deep! We may never find them there! Got it! I got their coordinates just a millisecond before the power ran out! Yeah! All right! Awesome, Koki! Let's go get them! Full speed ahead! Hey, what? Why are we moving? Huh? Ah! Is that what I think it is? Well, it's not fried calamari! A colossal squid! Like we didn't have enough problems, now we have to be caught in the clutches of a deep sea squid the size of a bus! If we hold him off a little bit, I just might have an idea. We must be in the abyssal zone now. We've never, ever been this deep before. Yeah, we made it to a new creature adventure frontier for humankind. Kind of hard to enjoy it, though, with uh, the emphasis on crushing and all. The new pressure systems have even designed don't work without power. We'll be crushed by the deep sea pressure. Well, it was good creature adventure with you, bro. We had a good run. Yeah, we sure did, bro. But it'd be really nice to see a new species before we turn into human pancakes. Huh? Hey, Dragon Glow! Huh? Dragonfish, Dragonfish Power Discs! Aviva did it! It says Mayday with their coordinates. They must be in trouble now. We gotta hurry. Touch Dragonfish! Dragonfish power! <laughs> wow! Oh. Human-sized dragonfish. Love it, Dragon Glow! This is awesome. Ooh, maneuverable! With working photophores! <laughs> <laughs> Cool. To, to the, the Wild Crest Team Rescue! Ooh, better take the amps up. I think it's repairable. <laughs> Let go, you toothy fish face! I can't break free! Its tentacles are too strong! I can't pull away! Uh-oh! Those serrated cutting discs! Look out! I hope the guys got our delivery. I don't see them anywhere. They should be around here somewhere. But where? There they are! Yeah, I'd say this is a mayday kind of situation. Let's put our suits into spy mode so the squid can't see us. Oh, yeah. This calls for full dragonfish cloaking power. Deep sea invisibility on. Let's just hope colossal squids can't see our red lights either. It's working. We can see him, but he can't see us. Now, let's put these sharp jaws to use. 
Yes! These dragonfish teeth are impressive, Dragon Glow. It's a good thing we're super huge dragonfish, because otherwise this squid would never feel it. I'm feeling that! Ow! Hey! The jaws work, but there are so many tentacles! Whoa! Ah, miss me! Keep going, Martin! Take that! And that! And one more! I'm not sure why, but it seems like he's loosening his grip! Oh! It's us! Martin! With dragonfish power! Uh oh! Uh -oh. Woohoo! Over here! Can't catch us! Okay, get ready to make a break for it if you can, Jimmy. Ready? Ready. Now! We could be anywhere. He acted like an ambush hunter, hunting by surprise. Ah, surprise! Ah, I don't like these kinds of surprises. I can't get a tracking on them. The GPS transmitting module is not responding. Uh-oh. How are we going to find them? I don't know. We're in the midnight zone now. 1,000 to 4,000 meters, or around the length of 20 skyscrapers down. No sunlight at all reaches this far down. This is what they mean by the deep, dark sea. Oh, no. No! Oh, he's sucking us in! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Guess he didn't like the taste. Uh -oh. <laughs> Not again. I got a scan of the jaws. Check it out. Ooh, the jaws have Sorry. ligaments like rubber bands. When his jaws are closed, they're all stretched out. But when he releases them, his jaws catapult outward in milliseconds. Well, it was great to know how he captured us. Now, it'd be really nice to know if he's gonna eat us. <laughs> Not this time! <laughs> now we know goblin sharks don't like to eat amphisubs. Lucky for us, they prefer fish. Where are you guys? What's wrong with your GPS modulator? <laughs> oh, funny story. It kind of got crushed by a goblin shark. Goblin shark? Oh, we'll never see the warm, dry sun again. No problem. We'll shine a beacon light. See you soon. Okay, look for their light. Uh-oh, there are lights everywhere down here. It's like outer space with stars all around. Yes, of course. Lots of creatures down here have built-in natural light. Remember that anglerfish we bumped into one time? Right! So, if you head to a light in the deep sea, you never know what creature you're gonna get. How are we gonna pick one? Meeny, meeny, miny, might. Pick a light and hope it's right. If it isn't, what will it be? Brand new species or monster of the sea? Ha! That's the tortuga! Okay. That light it is. Let's go. I have a good feeling about this, Chris. <laughs> Me too, Martin. Hey, it's coming into view. The Tortuga? Um, I think we picked the wrong light. Hmm, now what if we hear? I bet nobody has ever cooked you before. Come here, taste a little morsel. Hey! What? You got me! Now I got you, and we'll see how you taste. Now get back here, weird little fishy. <laughs> I hope Chris and Martin can see our light with all the other light-producing fish around. Okay, but I thought light bulbs made light, not fish. It's bioluminescence. Some sea creatures can make two different chemicals inside a special body part called a photophore. And when they mix them together, they make a glowing light. It's kind of like a glow stick. Two chemicals inside, and when mixed, it glows. Why do so many sea fish have it? Jimmy, quick, shine the light there. Go 
closer. Okay, so I know those zooplankton glow to find each other and stick together in the deep sea. That's one reason for bioluminescence, communication. And the deep sea shrimp knows they do that, so they're attracted to lights hoping to get a meal. But bigger predators know that little predators, like the shrimp, do this. So, another use of bioluminescence, hunting. That anglerfish has a built-in fishing pole. Wow, he really fooled that shrimp. And there's a third use of bioluminescence, defense. Wow, there are so many uses for bioluminescence. It's only one of the most important chemical reactions in the sea. And you know what that means. I do? It means I've got to figure out bioluminescence for my next creature power suit. I guess it's up to you and me to find the lost crab brothers. Do I have to do everything around here? Wow. <laughs> A dragonfish. We hit the jackpot, bro. These guys are the masters of bioluminescence. They use it for everything. Tell me about it. Those photophores on the side are for communication with other dragonfish. He can turn them on at will when he has something to say. And the light on the tip of the barbel is sometimes used to confuse predators. But mostly, it's used as a fishing pole. And wait, what's that under his eyes? Oh, gotta scan this. Whoa! It's a special red light, a spy light, that other fish down here can't see. Humans can't see it either. <gasps> so dragonfish have invisibility power. They're like spies. They can see with that light, but other fish like predators and prey can't see them. Wow. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, bro? I think I'm thinking what you're thinking. I think we're thinking the same thing. Aviva, come in. Go, Chris. We found Cormand, and it's way worse than we could have ever imagined. He's set up a massive deep sea kitchen down here. Let the deep sea cooking begin. <gasps> oh, oh no. no! And that's not all. He got Martin. Can't we catch a break? We gotta get out of here. <laughs> Whoa! Cormand, no! Stop! Huh? You! Blueberry in the deep sea? Well, no blueberries down here, but yeah, it's me, Martin. And you need to let all these deep sea creatures go. You can't cook them. We hardly know anything about them. Exactly. We don't know how they taste. And that's what I'm gonna find out. Huh? But look, this is a barrel eye we just met. He has the coolest eyes, and nobody knows how they work yet. I call them crazy eyes. And here, meet Dragon Glow, the dragonfish. Dragonfish have a special invisibility power that is hardly understood. And goblin sharks, like Snapjaw over here, are one of the least understood sharks with awesome jaw power. Yeah, I know. And here is Little Heat Seeker, a totally cool venture who sees heat and supports tons of life that we still have yet to discover. Well, thanks for the factual tidbits, Crab Cake. They'll help me write my menu of rare delicacies from the deep. You can't stop me. <laughs> but we can. Let them go. Never. <laughs> oh, yeah? Take this! Deep sea snowballs! Jimmy, evasive action! Can't stick me! <laughs> Can I try that again? <laughs> now stick around while I cook! Are uh, you sure it's hot enough? They stall, bro. We need some deep sea help here, and I know just who I need to find. Now let's stoke up these boilers nice and hot. Uh, 
Uh, Gourmand, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Yeah, why not? Huh. Uh, because you really don't want to go banging around with a giant mallet on an underwater volcanic ridge! <laughs> really? Yeah, really. Underwater eruption! Look out! Yes! There you are. We need your help, buddy. Insert creature power disc and activate giant squid power. Oh, now this is a true monster of the deep. A 12 meter long, multi tentacled cephalopod. Giant squid power for a giant rescue. Look out! Red hot magma chunks! Oh! We gotta get out of here! Well, I can't break free! Keep trying, Jimmy! Use full power! I'm trying, but this dough is sticky! Look out, creature pals! If one of those rocks hits us, we're toast! To the creature rescue! You're free! Hey, Gourmand, these creatures don't want to be fried or boiled. Huh? Way to go, Chris! I brought reinforcements! Ta-da! Bumper's mom! Just in time. Activate sperm whale powers! Creatures swim! Awesome! The power of one of the deepest diving mammals in the creature world. No! Those creatures are mine! No, they're not, Gourmand. They belong living free and in the deep. <laughs> 